Oh, hi there. I was just out in the garden picking some weeds and I was also thinking about edible and medicinal plants you find in the garden, in the yard, and all over the place. And one that I'd like to talk about today that's widespread and widespread because it's so hardy and it was brought along with the European settlers to North America brought over by those settlers probably because it was very healthy and nutritious and also very useful in medicine and it's called common plantain here hidden behind a cement barricade is an example of common plantain also sometimes called broadleaf plantain the scientific name is Plantago Major. Uh, another plant that's very similar, looks quite a bit like it, but the leaves are just narrower, is narrow leaf plantain. And uh, you can use them interchangeably, but I uh, just see a lot more of broadleaf plantain than narrow leaf plantain. Uh, so it can be used in both, I think it's both edible and medicinal. And uh, it's a clumped perennial herb uh, that's usually about up to 10 centimeters or 4 inches tall with flowers and long dense spikes that grow as long as 30 centimeters or 12 inches. And the leaves are broad and elliptic shaped with prominent parallel veins. You can see the veins on them. And the leaves are somewhat fleshy and more or less hairless. You can find them all over the Okanagan, and all over North America, and pretty much all over the world. They like to grow in disturbed soils, and they're tough. They can grow, you know, like here, just out of the cement. Uh, they are rich in vitamin A, C, and K. And the young leaves can be eaten raw, and uh, or in salads. The older leaves, maybe they, they get a little fibrous, and maybe you need to cook them, or you could cut them up and eat them. Uh, they taste like Swiss chard and the seeds these will grow into seeds and you can pick them off and they can be eaten as is you could just eat them like as a snack while you're hiking or something uh, or you can if you collect enough of them they could be ground up and you can make them into a flour or meal and one thing that I'm going to show you uh, the use is in medicine they can be used they make a poultice and it can be used to treat insect bites stings sunburn rashes, um, blisters, and maybe even snake bites and other purposes. And like say if you got a bug bite or a snake bite, if you use the poultice quickly, you can chew it up and put it on the right on it and it'll help draw out some of the venom. And uh, it is said to have anti-inflammatory properties and also uh, being astringent, which helps to pull the tissues together so it can help slow bleeding and help uh, things to feel heal faster. And uh, it can also be used to make a tea to treat coughs, sore throats, or mouth sores, and other sicknesses. And another benefit is that it has some antimicrobial properties, so it would help with uh, putting on a wound to keep it prevent it from getting infected and maybe help it heal faster. I'm out here in the neighborhood and I just wanted to show a couple other examples of where you might see plantain. And here, just right along the road and it's been run over, you can see the tire tracks and they survive. And I really wanted to come over here because I saw there's a big patch of some pretty big ones, but this one is the biggest one I've ever seen. So you can see the leaves, broad leaves, and the, the parallel veins on them, and then the huge flowering and soon-to-be seed-bearing spike. Not sure about how tall it is, but 40? centimeters or more. I don't, I've never seen one this big and I thought it was cool. So, I've got some plantain leaves and what you can do, what I'm going to do is make a spit poultice. So, you can do this. You don't, you don't have anything on you and you gotta cut a blister or something. All you need to do, take some leaves, chew them up. Chewing them breaks it open, gets all the juices and stuff out. May not taste that good. 
chew them up. You got a cut here? Stick it on. Tie it on. It's going to help keep it clean, relieve some pain, help it heal, and you know, maybe uh, something to be thinking about more often than we have been is coming up with solutions that solutions to hunger, solutions to pain, solutions to illness that you can get if the grid goes down or if you can't go to the grocery store, if you can't go to the drugstore and using plantain could be something to help you. It could be in an emergency or it could be maybe you prefer it over some other uh, something over over the counter or in your medicine cabinet but plantain is a it's been used for hundreds of years and and uh, it's something you could be walking past the, and you would never see it in the ditch but it's a valuable and nutritious plant so there it is a bit of a rundown a description of common plantain or broadleaf plantain an interesting name for it uh, was it was sometimes called white man's foot and I think that was because for the indigenous people living in North America it uh, was often found near European settlements so that's kind of got the name uh, one thing I hope that you take from this video and maybe some of the others is that a lot of the plants that we see and kind of take for granted we granted we we pull them out as weeds or we just walk past them like they're just nothing they're actually a lot of them maybe more nutritious than the plants that you're trying to grow uh, and they have other applications too some of them so maybe you know a little bit more about uh, common plantain and hopefully you do and either way thanks for watching